and this morning I'm upsizing my plants and I wanted to show you how I put the roots in the pots. So this is how it goes. So I already upsized a few. So I have one more to do here and a whole tray down there. So I'm going to put some soil in the pot like that. I'm going to put my finger in it just to make a good size dent in it. That way the whole root goes all the way down to the bottom. But I'm not going to push that down. What I'm going to do, hopefully you can see it here, is I'm going to hold the plant up Okay, I'm going to take some potting soil, and I'm going to hold the plant up, so now I can put some potting soil down all the way around those roots. And then you can push the center down a little bit. And now fill in all the way around. And tap down just slightly like that. Okay, that's a potted plant. So let me show you one more time. Okay, I've got the label. And I have my plants over here. I'm going to put my fingers in between the plants like that. Give it a little tap. Separate it. And you can see the roots are going all the way around. See that? So it's time to separate. So what I'm going to do is since there's four, one, two, three, four, I'm going to slice them like that. So I'm just going to put my thumb in the center like that. Press down. You can feel my thumb. It comes out the center right there. Can you see that? That's my thumb. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and try to break in between those two right there. In between those two. So now I have a whole one out. Right here. So I have a whole one. And now I'm going to separate these two. Okay, great. So now I got the plants and I got the majority of the roots. You're going to lose some roots. So... Okay, that's fresh potting soil. So I put some in here. Let me move this camera closer. Try to give you a good close-up. Okay, right here. So what I'm going to do is going to take some soil and I'm going to put it in the pot right here like that. Now I'm going to put my fingers in there. To put a nice hole all the way down deep. Now I got one of these plants that has roots. And I want the roots to go. See the long root? I want that root to go all the way to the bottom. But I don't want to shove the whole plant in there. So. Now the roots, the roots to the bottom. I'm going to put some soil around it. And push it down. Around that root like this. See, so I'm pushing down, and it's going down in between the root all the way down to the bottom. I'm pushing down the side over here. The plant is still up high. So I'm going to take some more soil and put it around and just tap it lightly like this. Here, that's a potted plant. And the reason why... I take this root right here, this long root, and I make it go all the way to the bottom of the pot. The reason why I just don't drop that down, you see the way that crushes? So when it's down in there, I lift it up like that, 
and I put the soil all the way around these roots so the roots all the way to the tray. If you just do this and put soil around, that root is all clumped up in a ball. So let me do it again. Put this label on there so I know what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to take some soil, fluff it up, and I'm going to put soil in here like this. Okay, now I'm going to put my finger all the way down. And the soil's a little moist, and I created that little dip in there. So let me show you with this. If I take this and I push it all the way down, it clumped up in a ball. But if I lift it up, like this, I lift it up and put some soil down under it and I'll turn it like this and I'll put some soil under it like that. I'm pushing down around that ball and now I can push down the top a little bit and put some more soil around it. Okay, so there's another plant. And basically, I got the root going all the way down. And then I tucked the soil around the root. If I would have just put it on top, the root would be up here in a little ball. But I made the root go all the way down. Okay, so if I find a little pot that ripped like that, I just take it, throw it on the side. You could tape it and still use it, or you could just toss them. I toss them and buy more, but you don't have to. Put a piece of black tape on it and it's good to go. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some of the soil that came out of the other ones here. Once again, pushing down in the center. This root's a little smaller, so here I'll take this one. This root here is hanging, so I'll put it in. And I'll put the soil all the way around. Hold the, I'm holding the plant up with my thumb and my forefinger, and I'm pushing down under it like that. Okay. Okay, so here's another plant. So remember, when, when you take your dirt, I'm going to move some of this out and put it in here. Put your thumb in there. Even though it's a smaller one, you see those roots hanging? I want those roots to go down as far as they can. So I'm putting the roots in there, but I'm holding up, I'm holding the plant up with my fingers. And now I'm pushing that dirt down around the plant's roots like that. I'm pushing the dirt down in there. So you can kind of see the plant is up high. You see that root ball? It's up high. And then the roots went down. And now, I'll take soil like this, and I'll put it around, and now I'll, I'll level it out on the top. Okay, so you can see now the plant, the soil is level, and that root ball is down under the soil and down here. I always tell people in all my videos, the plant starts from the root out. Make sure that root is not crammed in there. Make sure it flows nicely and gently tuck the soil around the root. Anyways, this is how I do it. You can do it whatever way you want. But I have good success like this, so I want to share it with you. So why not give it a try? And who knows, possibly you're already doing it like that. Okay, there's three in here. 
So I'm just going to take this, give it a tap, turn it over. And I'm going to try to separate them over here. Okay, got three separated. I'm going to put a little dent in here. Now I'm going to take the root. And I'm going to push the root down. Make sure I got that down deep. I'm going to put that long root right there down in that hole. Now I'm going to take some soil and I'm going to push it down around the roots like that. Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to put the label in there. So I know what this one is, and let me do the other ones. Okay, so I'm going to take that long root right there and set it in that hole. Now I'm going to put some soil there and push the soil down under the ball and around those roots to cradle those roots. Push the air out. Okay, so I got another one done. Okay, let me do the last one on video and then I got plenty more to go. Okay, so right over here I got a big root ball and it goes down pretty deep. So I'm gonna put it in and do the same thing. Put some soil on top. Put push down underneath all the way around with my finger okay okay so that one's done now I'm going to take the label and I'm going to duplicate it. There's three there, so I'm going to take two labels. Utilizing my graphite pencil. I always use a graphite pencil because when you write on the label with a Sharpie, a magic marker, it fades in the sun and you don't know what your plant is. But the graphite pencil lasts the whole season. And when you bring it inside, you could wipe it off with alcohol and start over, or just use the same name plant for next season. So, this is a long pepper. So, I'm just going to label them like this. Okay, so the reason why I label them is because when I plant them out in the garden, I take that level and I put it next to the plant, and then I know I have these plants all next to each other, and I don't get them mixed up. So these here I need to go ahead and label, so let me do that now. Okay, those are all set. They're all labeled. 
And I'm also putting these in a planter pot tray. So when I bring those outside to harden, I could take this and drench it in water, lift it up and put it in one of my bins. I'll show you that outside on another video. Look at this, I'm writing with the graphite pen and this is wet and it has dirt on it and it still writes. Try doing that with a Sharpie. You'll get that water smear and you'll get the dirt all over your Sharpie. Okay, so this whole tray is done, and they're labeled. They look really nicely. So what I normally do, let me get a top over here. Okay, what I normally do is I use a tray or I use a bin. And I set the plants in it. And then I go ahead and take a water bottle, like this, fill it up with water, and you'll notice the top, you'll see this in a lot of my other videos when I'm seed starting, I use that top, that way only a little bit of water comes out. So now I could take this, and I could go ahead and give it a little bit of a drenching like that, which you really don't have to use this because these are in seeds, and I use that. I use this method when I'm starting seeds so they don't dislodge. Okay, so I did that with this because it's real gentle. Now watch what happens when I when I do it with something like this. Move my phone. You can see that this one's nice and flat, and this one, you see the dirt dislarged? There's dents in the dirt. This is still flat, and this is dislarged. I got water dripping out, so let me try this. <clears throat> Do you see the difference right there? Oh, got water on my floor. Let me wipe it. Okay, so if you go ahead and you do it with that, you're going to have to, like, move that soil all back because the the force of the water move the soil around but if you use this you could drench that water the plant and all the soil let me do this I don't know if you can see that but the soil stays flat so I like just taking this if you crush it in just go like this it blows right back out and then you're all set to go for another over here like this Now normally I go to the sink and I fill it up, but what I'm going to do here is I'll take this and I'll just put this in and I'll fill it up. Put the cap on and go ahead and continue like this.
Okay, so let me go ahead and get these right here. Okay, so that water bottle pushes in like that. So just open it up, blowing it, and now you got air in it and you're, you're good to go again. Okay, so these are all nicely planted and they're nicely watered. I'm going to fill in this area. These are some other ones I planted this morning. Right here. And right here. Oh, still got more down there than I did before the video. <clears throat> okay like i say the videos are a lot of work so i was in here working this morning and doing all this then i said all right i'm feeling good let me go ahead and take out the video and make a video for everybody <clears throat> i'm trying to get into the habit of video and at least 75 85 percent of what i do i don't videotape everything because it's it's <clears throat> it's a lot of work <clears throat> my hands are usually wet and dirty Okay, I'm cramped in this little corner for the video, but normally I'm on that side working this way with the light behind me. <clears throat> but it's still the same thing. I got everything here. So now I'm just going to take my camera and take a little picture for my, my group so everybody can see that I'm out here, what I'm doing first thing in the morning. Okay, so anyway, I'm Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, give me a like. A like should help my channel grow. If you want to see me on Facebook, you got any questions, the Frugal Hugo Gardener on Facebook. And if you want to see my gardening group, Sunshine Harvest Edibles, and just click on the link below and it'll take you there. Sign up to the group. You'll see everything that I do. You'll see everything that my members do. And we all try to help each other. So come join the fun. Later.